So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And today guys, I showcase to you how you get the Aged One's Exaltation. This is a brand new talisman to the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. But let me tell you guys, the enemy that you get this from is such a pain. I won't lie to you, I died to him about a hundred times because he's seemingly invincible. But today I will explain everything you need to know how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay so there is a secret area called the abyssal woods i've actually uploaded a video on how you get to this area i'll link it in the video description if you're unaware of it but within this area guys there is a certain enemy type who is by far the most annoying in the game they're literally invincible you can't hit them with your standard attacks you can't do damage them with your spells. I mean, forget the Golden Hippopotamus, forget Lelena, forget Melania, forget the Elden Beast, forget Mesmer. These things are even more annoying. I mean, yeah, they're even more annoying. And there's one particular one that does drop this talisman. Uh, so, yeah. But first things first, you are seeing the enemy on screen now. This guy killed me over and over and over again. And I thought there's got to be a way to take him out. And then I clocked it. The way you take these guys out is by using a shield with that parry skill on it. If he's got parry on it, you can use it against these foes to take them out to kill them. That's the only way, guys. That's the only way I know of, unless you know another way that you can take these guys. Once you parry them, you basically stun them and then you can deal damage to them. It's utter madness out here, people. It really is. Now, in regards to people out there who don't use that parry uh, feature in this game, who never really use shields, the best way to learn to do this is with the uh, buckler shield, which you purchase from the vendor right near Godric the Grafted, or where his site was. His name's the Gatekeeper Gostok, and you'll see that on screen now, his location. If you haven't got him here, I'm not sure where he will be, but he's the vendor I know of. Uh, of where you can get this buckler shield from unless you started with that certain class um can't remember what it was is it the bandit class i believe you start with the buckler shield uh, but other than that guys um, because this has the buckler parry skill on it which means you got a bigger like window to basically parry those enemies but other shields that have this parry skill on can work too but if you have got a shield and hasn't got that parry on you cannot do this so how it works guys and how you do this is pretty simple well i say pretty simple that's a lie it's a pain in the ass. So from this grace point right here, within the abysmal woods area, and again, if you don't know about this area, I'll link the video in the video description of how you get here. You will come to this church ruins area, and then just about west, just this way here, guys, you keep following the path I take, you'll see you'll come to where this enemy is located. Now, there's a few of these enemies in this area, but this is the one I do believe who drops you this talisman, and is so it's always good practice for you, and you get rewarded for it. So how I was doing this was because as soon as he clocks you people, he basically teleports towards you. Here, just let him teleport towards you, let him hit you. And from this point, don't try and roll off the floor because if you do this, he catches you most of the time in his attack and it's insta-death. If he catches you in his attack, either way you're standing up, it's also insta-death. So you either want to dodge out the way of it or use your buckler shield or your shield with that parry skill on and time it perfectly and you have to time it absolutely perfectly now i don't know about the frames in this game on xbox series x but to me it seems like it's definitely off i could be just a noob in regards to parrying uh, but you'll see it slowed down now as you do the buckler parry skill movement or the parry skill movement you see you swing the shield with your left arm all the way out so you fully expend your arm 
You actually want to catch it as soon as you start the movement. To me, that's where it's, it seems a bit off, but that's where it seems to work. You need to catch your attack as you just press the button. So as their limb expands and it's coming towards you, try and tap the button in between that, that power button, which on Xbox is left trigger and on PlayStation will be L2. It's not the block button. People are trying to power that block button. That's not how it works. It's actually the skill button, which when you have a skill being held in your offhand, that is that left trigger or L2. I'm not sure what it is on PC, but I'm sure someone can comment and let us know down below. But it is all about getting that timing right. Like I said, there's no other enemy in this game, which has took my life more times than this dude. Uh, again, buckler shield for those noobs out there like me who just ain't used to parrying at all but any other shield that parry on come and take this guy out learn the basics of this enemy do what you gotta do and get this age one's exaltation talisman which again madness in the vicinity increases attack power which is pretty cool and there we have it guys how you defeat these annoying ass enemies within the abyssal wood secret area and get this new talisman to the Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC for Elden Ring. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.